We are the Simon Kenton Pioneers, and you're watching Friday Frenzy on WCPL. That's the Simon Kenton cheerleaders. Thank you, ladies, for being a part of the show with us tonight. Simon Kenton and Highlands was our game of the week. We showed you that a few minutes ago. Welcome back in to the Friday football frenzy. You know who's looked re really good this season is Lakota West. Well, conveniently, they are next up on the frenzy here, and West is putting their unbeaten record on the line on the road at Sycamore. Second half, West up 20 to nothing. Aiden Miller forces a fumble. Brian Henderson recovers the loose ball. Firebirds quarterback Mitch Bolden's going to take over from there. He carved up the Aviators secondary. 16 yards here to Caleb Rao for Bolden's fourth touchdown pass of the night. Josh Brogdon gets the running clock started. It goes 44 yards here for the score. West gets his second, gets its second shutout of the year. They win it 33 nothing over Sycamore. Another nice win for them. Well, another unbeaten team on the road tonight, Princeton. What a game this was. Paying a visit to Colerain. Colerain's only loss was not a bad loss. And it's Colerain by 10 here, but make it a three-point game. Makai Lynn over the middle to Rodney Harris. 20 yards and a touchdown for Princeton. But watch this, Colerain by 10 again, fourth quarter. Keep an eye on the punter for Princeton. He rolls out, he's gonna look to rugby punt out of his own end zone, but it hits off his own guy and Colerain recovers it in the end zone. That's a touchdown. Look, we got a three possession game late in this thing, but that's when it turns around in a hurry. Under two minutes left, Princeton down three with the football. Makai Lynn deep downfield to Lamont Jackson. That's a catch inside the five, down at the one. They would score a few plays later. Princeton was down 17 in the fourth quarter. They come all the way back to win this thing. It's their first win over Colerain in 23 years. Coach? It looked bleak for a while, but what we've been preaching this whole offseason is for us to be able to truly um, make the next jump in a program, in our program, is we're going to have to gut it out and grind it out. And so the kids gritted their teeth, right? And they kept fighting. The same things we've been preaching and preaching and preaching. And so I'm extremely proud of them but because I think this was a, that turning stone in, in the program. Strong words there from Coach, too. All right, Fairfield on the road at Hamilton tonight. Remember, Fairfield's freshman quarterback stepped onto the scene in a big way last week, but it's Hamilton up 14-10. Mid-third quarter, Keyshawn Stevens out of the Wildcat extends the lead. Fairfield's going to answer, though. Kavi Bivens right up the middle. Great job by the O-line, just clearing a nice gap there for him. They get the two-point conversion, so we got a three-point game. Hamilton, your move. Quarterback Quincy Sims Marshall rolling out. Breon Ishmael on. Touchdown, Fairfield would hang around, but Hamilton holds on to win it by a field goal, 28 to 25. How about a matchup of unbeatens now? Roger Bacon and Corey Kiner taking on Norwood. Would love to show you all seven of his touchdowns, right? It's only a 15 minute program though. We might run out of time. Goes 61 yards to the house there on his first touch of the football game. Seven nothing Bacon. Here's a 52 yarder and it's historic. He eclipses 5,750 yards. He joins the state record books as the 37th player to reach that number. Now, Bacon's Ryan Halla had a night too. Halla, 47 yard pick six. He had three touchdowns tonight too himself. Kiner just stays in bounds there for another score. Can we show any more of Corey Kiner touchdowns here? He breaks his own single game rushing record by 40 yards with 363 yards, and they win it 82 to 28. All right, back to the Kentucky side now. Covington Catholic and Dixie Heights. Covington Catholic lighting up the scoreboard in the first quarter quickly here. Caleb Jacob connects with Ethan Reardon for the 31-yard touchdown. Colonels in blue go up 7-0. Get it because they're both the Colonels. Big play here to keep the uh, Covington Catholic drive going here. Caleb Jacob to Jackson Hodge. That would lead to this a few plays later. Owen Nally with a two-yard touchdown run. It's 21-0 Covington Catholic. Dixie would make a late run, but Covington Catholic takes it by a touchdown, 21-14. All right, also down in Kentucky tonight. This one way down in Kentucky in Louisville. Moeller at Louisville Trinity. It's Louisville, not Louisville, by the way. Trinity on the read option. It's going nowhere. Not if Nathaniel Pabst has anything to do uh, to say about it. Later in the drive, though, Nathan McElroy on the bootleg for Trinity decides to, yeah, keep it himself. He's going the other way and he's going to go in for a touchdown. The Rocks grab a 7-0 lead, and they would grab a decisive win over Moeller. Moeller falls 44-7 at the hands of Louisville Trinity. 